To create a purchase order with an inventory planner, start from the replenishment screen. Select items using the checkboxes on the left side of the screen in order to designate what you'd like to add to your purchase order. Then at the bottom of the screen, click on New Purchase Order for these variants. If you are creating a purchase order based on forecasting for your combined warehouse, you will need to select a destination warehouse. The destination warehouse needs to be an actual location. The combined warehouse is a virtual warehouse, therefore we need to know which location will be actually receiving the units on this purchase order. In order to configure your purchase order, click on the gear icon on the right hand side to select various columns that you would like to enable for your purchase order. You can also drag and drop these so that they appear in the order you need on your purchase order. If there is additional information that you need to configure, click on settings in the upper right hand corner. Here you can provide a purchase order number, change your purchase order to a transfer, update the status, provide notes to your vendor, update additional vendor information, enable units of measure or case size, change how the minimum order quantity is applied, include a discount or tax information, or update other fields relating to your purchase order. Once you've completed your purchase order, click on Create at the bottom of the screen. If you are saving to a warehouse such as Amazon or a warehouse with an inventory management system that you've connected to Inventory Planner, at this point you can save to that platform using the button at the bottom of the screen. With your purchase order, you can now email directly from Inventory Planner here you can customize messages to your vendor, save that as a template, and refer back to that template for future emails. From your completed purchase order, you can re-enter edit mode as long as you have not synced your purchase order to another platform, and you can also download a version of your purchase order as needed. If you handle receiving within Inventory Planner, meaning you have not synced your purchase order to another platform, then you can handle receiving in a variety of different ways. The first is that you can type in the received amount directly to the field and save your changes to the purchase order. You can also handle receiving by importing from a spreadsheet, using a barcode scanner, or click on Receive Remaining to handle all outstanding items on your purchase order, then save the changes to your purchase order. Finally, from the purchase order, you can print labels to go directly on your products. Here you can customize your label by clicking on Manage Templates. Here you can adjust the size of the label, adjust information on fields that are enabled, and at the bottom of the screen, add additional fields that you'd like to have showing on your printed label. Once configured, you can print labels based on the quantity you've ordered, received, or you can enter a custom amount that you'd like to print for these labels. When ready, click on print at the bottom of the screen.